it's a first step towards the development of a longer piece examining queer identity uh it's also a document of this particular time yeah i think i'll also be broadcasting some songs from this project so online a riot inside I am trapped outside there is freedom outside there is movement outside there are other people outside there is air Outside, there is sunlight. Outside, there is rain. Outside, I am exposed. Outside, I can get lost.
And I was using the idea of intersubjectivity because each one of us is has a subjective experience of life and the pandemic and uh, difficulty. And we don't always overlap, but there are points of overlap. Uh, this intersubjectivity through the attempt to em empathize, uh, to listen to a different kind of subjectivity, uh, find commonalities. Because I, particularly music, it, it, in many cases, especially if text is involved, it comes from a very emotional resonance. So for instance, I made a, a, a project a, several years ago about Alan Turing and his experience as a kind of starting point for exploring uh, the queer experience and queer persecution uh, against, the, against the state. So learning about another person's experience and trying to embody it, but knowing that there's a, lim there's a limit to how far you can go. There's a limit to the understanding. Uh, but I think the attempt to understand and to bring the subjectivities together, I think that's a fascinating place for me, especially uh, to connect emotionally in creating the music. Rainbow family
multiple complex entities and they create they inform each other they they and they make the experience very specific um so i was trying to find where that intersectionality was in my experience so uh, i'm not from the uk uh so living in a country that i wasn't born in and i didn't grow up in uh being uh, from a jewish background secular jewish background um being queer and being an artist which is also an other to some extent especially experimental art uh yeah so all of these somehow inform the process why why do we need to just play to a queer audience why can't we just think about humanity as an audience um uh, and that's true i think that there are human aspects to the work uh things like loneliness exclusion um power struggles that are more universal that people could identify with and maybe could contribute to to um yeah promoting rights and equality but yeah i think it's kind of a growing circle and in the first instance mm -hmm. i i want to know more about the queer perspective on this mm -hmm.